I remember that when I when I first found your stuff, it was out of an earnest attempt to try to like fix and save the relationship that I was in. And it was specifically around like there's no clinical term as far as I know for daddy issues. So it's mm -hmm. kind of like a, a jokey term, um, but it's still real. Like it's every bit as real as anything else. And uh, like my ex-girl had had a lot of problems with her biological father. I think he legally disowned her in her teens, uh, still hung around and was. Can you say why or is that like too? I don't think I even really know. Like, that's how crazy it was. She wouldn't talk about it. I remember when we would have conversations, she's like, as long as I live and as long as we're together, regardless, if we're, it doesn't matter if we're together forever, you're never allowed to have an opinion about this. Really? She's like, oh, yeah. She's that to me verbatim. She's like, you're never allowed to discuss it with me. You're never allowed to say anything about it. Like, you need to full on, like, you just need to shut up about it. Like, you can't ask me anything. Let me uh, share like a quick story that, that has total relevance to what you're talking about there, because um, I've only dealt with that, I think, once in any like significant capacity in my life, which was my single mommy, you know, like one itis back in the day um, after I got divorced. I was with that chick for like three years and it was a very similar type of you know situation. She had zero relationship with her father. In fact, she hadn't talked to him in like 20 years and even changed her surname to her mother's surname. Um, so she didn't so, quite go that far, but it was very similar. Like she hadn't spoken to him in forever. He would text her yeah. every year on her birthday. She wouldn't answer. Like the, he didn't come to her college graduation. Like none of that shit. Yeah, like that's like that's a big red flag. If if you as a woman can't have a good relationship with your father, in my view, and it was just like I didn't see the relevance at the time because I was a plugged in, you know, blue pilled alpha oh, sort of thing. Like this was almost ten years ago. Yeah, because it's coming up on 2012, 2013 or so. And, um, I just didn't see the relevance. I was just like, oh, well that sucks. Um, I remember like one time I said something along the lines of like, what would you do if he, if he drove all the way here? Cause he, cause he lives something like four or five hours away. I said, what would you do if you drove all the way here and knocked on your door right now and you went and answered it and he was there and she didn't really have like much to say except for like her face just dropped. Just like, you just get these like weird vibes and shit. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Anyway, yeah. I didn't want to hijack your story, but yeah. No, but I mean, it's a great point. And I didn't know. Fifty Shades, what's up? Welcome. Nobody. Sorry. Hey, All right. He's, he's in the kitchen. He's still, he's still cooking. Apparently, I hear clanking of utensils. <laughs> Fuck right. you guys. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking I'm about mother talking. Eating, Don't talk to me about All right. I'm eating New York strip steak, having eggs. Terrible. We're up at 9 o'clock. Well, no, one of the things I've noticed since I joined the 1% is... A lot of the guys who are successful and on their game are up early on the weekends. Yeah. Just an observation. Every day at around seven for me, man. I uh I'm yeah. Up at well, five, usually six the latest. That's just the way my, my sleep schedule works, my body works. So it's like it doesn't matter if I go to bed at ten, doesn't matter if I go to bed at two, I'm up at seven. So it's uh smart to No, but I my, my point off is a lot of blue pill plugged in guys were out at two AM last night spending three hundred dollars on alcohol. Eat yeah. crap food and know they're uh, in bed. I'm not saying it doesn't happen to us every now and then, but mm. yeah. I, as I, I've, I've mentioned a bunch of times, that's that's what a lot of people are told. A good time is totally. All right, Muff, finish the story on the. Oh so, yeah, so I mean, what happened was it's like, look, my my desire to help was is how do I help fix this? It's how do I be the fixer? How do I save a girl with daddy issues? How do I? Uh, be a good quote unquote partner and this and that. And I started just, I was watching a lot of YouTube at the time. I was working from home and I was working like, you know, I was dicking around mostly because I didn't like my job. And, and we were, my, my industry was highly affected by uh, the scam demic. So uh, I had a lot of free time. And so the video I came across was three women to avoid dating. Mm -hmm. And the number one was daddy issues. And every word was like speaking the gospel, man. It was like, this makes so much sense. It's like everything that I try to do up to that point, it didn't matter how virtuous I was. It didn't matter how I tried to lead or how uh, good of a guy I was. She was incapable of appreciating it, respecting it uh, and desiring it because she had never had a good example growing up of that in a man. She was raised in a household by her mom, who was a 
constant player of victim. Uh, she saw firsthand that this guy and like, look, like as far as I can tell, and as far as I only go about what she told me, but as far as I can tell, this guy was a real piece of shit. It was a real asshole. Now, I don't know any different. Um, that's her story, and she, I, I don't know the flip side. Um, but you know, could have very well been true, but. She was also in therapy, but it was the kind of therapy where it was like, I'm going to come and cry once a week and not ever do anything with the advice or help that I was to get. Uh, so it was just this toxic spiral. And then I kind of realized that this was unsalvageable. Um, and then I started diving in, man. I started watching old stuff. I started reading. Uh, I think I read The Rational Mail first because your book wasn't out yet. This was like in the fall of 2020. Mm -hmm. I, I think I actually bought the unplugged alpha on Christmas day, which is just kind of like ironic and kind of funny. And it's funny because Bert bought it the day after, and he has a better story than I do about buying the book. Um, but I've been watching your stuff so much at that point. I, I had kind of, you know, obviously the book is great. And uh, I, I know a lot of your stuff. It was mostly out of support, but, um, but yeah. And then we had that conversation with JD McCabe when he came on your channel, but, uh, it wasn't until the following week on with Aaron when we were discussing when he was kind of like he was pushing the book of numbers that we had had that good like 15 minute conversation. So and then I think that night immediately I joined the community because I was like one of the things about this breakup that made me realize I was like, dude, I don't have anybody like my friends had left New York. I didn't have a tribe. I didn't have a group of men. I didn't have guys that I could talk to and confide in. Uh, I was like, dude, like. I was just like, I looked around. I was like, I got nobody. And, and uh, like the community, um, it's still kind of crazy to me to even think about it. I was talking about this with, with uh, you know, this girl last night. And I was like, it's just nuts to kind of see where I've gone from beginning to end. And I, I was actually talking to Fifty Shades the other day. And I have people that are DMing me on Instagram. Like, dude, like, what do you do for work? Like, how are you traveling all these places? What are you going and doing all this cool shit? Like, are you fucking involved in the yet this or that? And I'm like, no. naughty, man. I'm just like, I have fucking awesome friends and I do cool shit all the time. And it's my life now. And it's funny because I just ran down the list of things that this community has allowed me to do and partake in that I never would have been a part of otherwise. Like we did a meetup at a $20 million house and mansion in Miami. And I, I rode in an R8 in a Ferrari. We went to Nashville and I looked on stage with a live rock band. I got a guy coming down to Tampa where I'm going to live. And he's like, hey, I'm taking you to a Bucks game and we're going to go deep sea fishing. Right. We're going to Jackson Hole with literal killers and and doing MMA and shooting guns and have like went to the heroes trip in Toronto, like rode in the fucking McLaren, like I, stuff that I just never would have been able to do if not for this. So when guys Be honest, the McLaren is a lot faster than the Ferrari, right? <laughs> McLaren was the shit. <laughs> don't, don't don't let it be uh don't let it be unknown the is off so but British, British <laughs> when guys are like oh what do i get out of the community or like what's it gonna do for me and it's like it's almost an insult i'm like dude you have no fucking idea yeah you just have like no you're either in or you're out like yeah you don't have to go. and if you're not gonna put your back forward you're not gonna do any of that stuff hey guys i really hope that you enjoyed that short clip if you did consider supporting the creation of content by checking out my supplement line pinned in the top comment below of this video in the comments there's a link to the unpluggedalpha.com forward slash shop. Uh, when you click through, you'll be able to land over here and the entire lineup is broken down by category that it performs best in, estrogen metabolism, fat burning, your foundational essentials for health, immune health, performance, and testosterone support. If you check out with coupon code alpha10, you'll get 10% off on your first order. There's also the option to use the subscribe and save model where regular shipments will be sent over to you on a regular basis. And that gives you a little bit of a discount and your supplement facts are always broken down over here. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome day. And again, check out that link. It's pinned in the top comment below in this video. Peace out.